welcome everybody to Stardust Slime Ranch. I have like almost 140 hours in this game at this point. <laughs> Ta da! We have this guy. I call him a trap. I put in his favorite food and then he, then he appeared one day. Now I have a misdecoration. <laughs> I know I popped a gold one before. I don't know what happens when you pop a gold one. But I want to keep him around. <laughs> he looks so cool. He's wearing sunglasses in the middle of the night. And then we have these guys. I got these ornaments from the party goarders. They show up every weekend and they give you presents. And I want to put like one of each, each kind of slime here with the trophies. I haven't got all of them yet. And then over here we have the drone. And this drone takes care of these guys. They're right over here. I wanted to like challenge myself to get one of each kind of slime as like a little slime. So these are these are the rock and roll red slimes. And they live right next to their food. <laughs> and that makes it easier for the germ, I think. And then the rest of these crops, like these ones and these ones, they go for the slimes over here in the grotto. <laughs> I wanted to get like slimes that would look cool, like glow in the dark and stuff for the cave. And here we have the ornaments for the for the grotto. But I don't have any fire a fire slime ornament yet. We have the phosphor slimes and the mosaic slimes and then phosphor mosaic. For the for the largo ones, like when I had any extra corals I would make largo ones for them. But I challenged myself so that like I'd only get one one largo for each kind of slime. So so for these I have the mosaic and the phosphor. So there's no other slimes on the ranch that are a mosaic largo or a phosphor phosphor largo. And we have the crystal slimes, and then we have this, this drone that cucks all the ports. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay, okay. And then we have the fire slimes. These slimes are the hardest to keep alive because there's no like auto feeder for them. You have to feed them by putting stuff in the incinerator. And if they leave this in an incinerator or the incinerator runs out of ash, then then they then the fire goes out. <laughs> they really like their tour. I like these like these were from the volcano area. I really like the fire flowers. So I put them all over the cave, and I got the, the red echoes everywhere to match them, and I think it looks cool. Now on to the next area, to the lab. Dun, 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 dun. And then we have the slimes for this area, the, the little ornaments for them, and the drone that takes care of them. So we have two Argos, we have the rock crystal ones, <laughs> and then we have, then we have the nukes. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> These guys always have so many, so many food left over. <laughs> they get <gets> everywhere. <laughs> and then we have the silo. I only have one silo. And then over here we have Victor's laboratory place. And then I have I put all the glitch, the glitch kinds of ornaments over here. I like their funny little faces. <laughs> And then this this is like a this is like a mini game where you like go and go and collect all the glitch slimes. And then when you do it enough times then you then this area gets unlocked and you can use and you can use all the corrals that are in here. Uh oh, this guy looks like he's gonna teleport. <laughs> I need to keep Oh, this guy actually escaped! <laughs> Yeah, there's a problem with the, with the slimes escaping in this area. If they get hungry, then they'll just teleport right out of the corral. And they'll go straight to go eating the food. <gasps> You're not supposed to be over here! And then you have to spray them with the water to stop them from teleporting. I also put these little chimes in here. I put them in all the slime corrals. And then when you touch them, it makes a noise. It makes a little music note. And I got them from the Twinkle Slimes. The Twinkle Slimes, they show up every Christmas and they and they give you all the chimes. Well, they show up like in like a couple weeks leading up to Christmas. 
and then they sing a little song, and then they give you all the chimes. Hey <laughs> And these are the little ornaments for this area. We have puddle signs over there, and then we have the two drones. I'll take care of I'll take care of everybody here. Dun dun dun, there they are. There's a there's chimes underneath the water. You just can't see them because for some reason, they go invisible and you put them underwater, but you can hear them <laughs> whenever the slime is running into them. Dun, dun, dun. This is like another area that you unlock. You have to like go over here, and you go through the portal, and then you collect a bunch of fruit, and then this area unlocks. You have to collect these, these things. I don't know what the heck- I can never remember what they're called. <laughs> They're like kookapura thingies. Oh, they're hungry. Yeah, this is kind of just like the miscellaneous place. I put these guys here because I like to eat fruit. And I put the saber slimes here. Well, the saber- you can't get like a little saber slime because they're extinct. So I took the saber port and gave it to the tabby slime because like a tabby is also a kind of cat. And it seemed appropriate. <laughs> ah! Excuse me! <laughs> And then I have the honey slimes. <laughs> I think like the I think the honey slime toy is the cutest toy of all. It's a little bee. And it's a happy little bee. I don't know why bees in video games are so cute, but they are. And then over here we have the chicken eaters. Dun dun dun. I wanted to put some chicken eaters over here because there's always chickens that are spawning and running around in the grass. So it's a good, good place to put them. And then we have the drone that takes care of them. And then up here, we put the ornaments. Dun -da. Put a little extra ornaments for this one. They got the chicken ones and the flower ones. And then the boom signs. I put them like in this corner because they explode a lot. <laughs> the meat eaters are almost always hungry all the time. And then over here, and then over here we have the docks. And this one has the big pond for all the puddle signs. <laughs> and they get two duckies because there's a lot of them. <laughs> I'm so cute. Then we have the drones that take care of them. One over here and one over here. Then we have the dervish slimes and the honey honey dervish largo slimes. I thought that the the, the that the dervish and the honey worked well together aesthetically. Dun -dun -dun. And here's the other area that you can unlock. We have more and more chicken eaters. And we have the, the ornaments for these guys. The tangle, the puddle, and the hunter. The hunter corral is always full of so many chickens. <laughs> and these guys are always not full of chickens. They like to steal the chickens from the, from the corral over here. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have put them next to each other. <laughs> and then we have the drones. And these guys take care of them. Dun, dun, dun. And then over here, this is where you play the mini game to like get the <laughs> put a little a quicksilver ornament here because this is the qu quicksilver slime game. And you like zap them, and then you get money, and then eventually you win this area. I really like these things. These things are cool. And then over here, back to the grotto, and back to the main area. And then, and then, we have this thing. Dun, da, da. This is just a part of the regular map. Hello, chicken. And this is where I put portals to every area on the map. So I portal to the moss blanket. And then over here, we have portals to all the all the areas. And this one goes to the glass desert. I thought this would be a good place to have like a like a portal hub. So yeah, that's the ranch. That concludes the tour of the Stardust Slime Ranch. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day. <laughs>